Welcome back. This is Max with Light Deal Satellite Services, and today we're going to go ahead and align the 7630 satellite dish by WSI. Again, friends, before you get started with setting the satellite dish on any pole, make sure that you're perfectly plumb. You always want to measure the front and back side to make sure that your pole is perfectly plumb. Okay, now that we have the pole plumb, we're going to go ahead and set the dish on the pole. I've already set my elevation on the dish. I have preset my skew on the LMB and I'm ready to basically set the satellite dish or align it. Our, uh, here in North Idaho, the azimuth is 131.6, my elevation is 31.5. And then my skew is negative 17. So I've already said that. This particular pole mount has a clamp, which makes it really nice to do the azimuth adjustment from left to right and really tweak it. You can tighten in that, on that individually, left and right, until you get your maximum peak, and then torque them down equally into the pole. That gives you a fine tune uh, capability you don't have with a regular mass clamp. Uh, that wraps around the pole. A lot of installers have this particular trick that uh, we use. We take a carpenter's level like this one and we put it on the LMB pole and deduct five and a half degrees from the elevation. In this case, I have to set my elevation here right at uh, 25 and uh, half to get my elevation. So now I'll go ahead and proceed and fire up my meter and set the alignment. My 131 degrees is about that direction. I'll generally walk out with my compass, make a mark on the grass or put a hammer or string a line in a direction that uh, the azimuth is located. Time to time I've set the line, I've pushed the, uh, the satellite dish in a direction in which I got my line fire up the receiver, my uh, meter, and I'll have signal. So it's a good technique to use. I'm gonna take my meter, in this case I'm using a Trimax, and I'm gonna begin by rotating my satellite dish in a direction my azimuth is supposed to be, 131.5. Okay, I have signal there. All right. The next procedure will be to make sure my... Okay, I've peaked my elevation. That's sitting at 69, 670. I'll make sure my azimuth here is better. Well, now I have 73%, 74, 75. Looks like 75% of my quality will be the tops. I'll go ahead and proceed by tightening the nuts like a quarter turn on each side on the clamp. That decreased my quality to 70, 75, 76. Oh, I'm going down. Okay, I went down on that side, so I'll loosen this side up a little bit and climb, took this side. All right, you snug it down, and now we're sitting right at 75, 76% there. Decibels, that's right at 97%. And my signal to noise is 10.7 decibels. That's good, now we'll check the uh, skew on the LMB. All right, I'll unmute this. I'll go from left to right. Oh, I got uh, 98 decibels there.
I think when I get a little rain, I think I just got a drop on my head. <laughs> All right, I'm sitting in about 69 quality, 99, 98%. Uh, 99, 98 decibels. All right. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Just for fun, I'm gonna check and see what the picture looks like. That concludes the alignment to G19 using the 30 inch satellite dish by WSI. And uh, I say we have pretty good uh, signal quality. Visit us at idealsatelliteservices.com. Thank you.